The winter storm last week is still providing holiday nightmares mm. for many families coming through our airport. Yeah. Still it, was happening. <laughs> it was nice to just sit at home yesterday and not have to travel at all. Over 100 flights are canceled at DIA today already, and our Brandon Richard is live there. Brandon, we can see the crowds behind you. It sounds uh, like people are still struggling to get on flights. Yeah, that massive winter storm last week creating a holiday travel nightmare that continues this morning here at DIA with more delays and cancellations after what was a rough Christmas. By far, Southwest Airlines the hardest hit, and all you have to do to see that is take a look behind me. This is the line, one of the lines, to the Southwest check-in counters. This is similar to what we saw on Saturday, these massive lines uh, full of hundreds of people and really just wraps around in uh, a couple of different places. Now, as you said, more cancellations and delays here at DIA. We checked in with FlightAware. Uh, they report over 50 flights delayed here at DIA today so far. More than 100 flights already canceled. Again, most of those cancellations coming from Southwest. This follows nearly 600 flights that were delayed and over 300 canceled on Christmas Day here at DIA. Again, most Southwest. Luggage was piled up in the Southwest baggage claim area after several days of disruptions. Passengers reporting lost luggage, many unable to rebook their flights, some spending days stuck in the airport. I spoke with passenger Joshua Cotto last night. He and his family on their way to celebrate a friend's birthday when they're they were rerouted to Denver and then waited for hours for their flight, which was eventually canceled. They had to get a hotel room, and now they're unsure when they will be able to leave Denver. At this point, we have, it's hard to say, really. It's hard to say. You know, I, I'm, I'm okay with these kinds of travel situations and sort of having to fly on by myself when it's just me. But when my one-year-old has to suffer through it because of ineptitude and mismanagement, you know, it, that becomes personal. It becomes something where you're like, no, I'm never going to do business with that company again. And this morning, it's responding to an internal memo going around social media that some say suggests Southwest is experiencing low staffing. The airline says that's not true. They say they've enacted routine emergency sick procedures here at and they, quote rumors of low staffing prior to the holidays or of staff vacating their positions are unfounded. That's what the airline says this morning. However, it is doubtful that is going to bring really any reassurance to all of these passengers and many you don't see who have been waiting here for days trying to catch their flight, still unable to. Live at DIA this morning, Brandon Richard, Denver 7.